Praise God, praise God, praise God. God is in the blessing business, and we are just so happy to be here to lift up the name of Jesus and to glorify his holy name. Uh, you heard some of Harvey Watkins and Melvin Williams stay with me, Lord. We ask the Lord to stay with us in 2021, and we are asking the Lord to be with us in 2022. 2021 has been a challenging year. Nobody but the Lord has brought us through. Oh, yes, we've had challenges from uh, the COVID-19, the Delta variant. Um, we even had now the Omicron. Uh, we have had some political issues, some uh, race and hate issues, uh, health issues, crime issues. And everybody in this day and time, should be willing and wanting to say, stay with me, Lord. Amen, amen. This is December 21st, December 31st. Uh, this is the eve of 2022. Uh, here at Zion Travelers, we would always have a message, and we will close the year out and bring the incoming year in with a prayer. We're doing things a little differently now, but we're doing everything we can to keep the word coming forward. What I want to do is walk through uh, 2021 a little bit, probably talk about a few challenges, and then we are going to talk about January 2022, and we are going to close out uh, with our prayer. Amen, amen. Uh, January 2021, uh, we planned, we talked about how we will go through the year, how we would continue ensuring that the word would go forward. Uh, we would bring in Sunday school. We would do what we can to reach normalcy. And at some point, we started bringing in uh, groups. Our members were assigned groups. And those who wanted to come could come on certain Sundays. And we made our way um, all the way up until the fall when we allowed the whole church, those who wanted to come back, to come back together. And God blessed us with a beautiful plan. In the month of February, we studied the Old Testament. And there we wanted our members to become familiar with the foundation of the Old Testament and see how Jesus came down through the generations and died on that cross to save us. And in that Old Testament, we were able to just see so many different things. Uh, we were able to go through so much as we broke down the minor prophets, the poetry and wisdom books, the major prophets, 
uh, the first five books of the uh, Old Testament, the Pentateuch, and then we had the historical books. And God blessed us in the month of February. And we moved on to the month of um, March, where we went over Proverbs. And that's where we wanted all of our members and all who would listen, let's gain some wisdom. Uh, let us get a great understanding of what Proverbs was teaching us. And it was wise advice uh, for healthy living. And I remember the theme, uh, the fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. And that was Proverbs 1, 7. And then in April 2021, the book of Malachi, as we talked about the Lord's love for Israel, uh, as we talked about a warning to the priests and a call to faithfulness. Also, we talked about a message on judgment and a call to repentance and the coming day of judgment. And in the month of May, we had a wonderful time with the Roman Road to Salvation. And this is a tool for our members to lead others to Christ. Amen. For we found out in Romans 1, 19 and 20, there is no excuse. Romans 3, 23, we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Uh, Romans 5, 8, show Christ's love, God's love for all of us. When the Bible stated, amen, that God, while we were yet sinners, God commended his love towards us. Amen. And that he gave us Jesus when we weren't even worthy. And Romans 6, 23 taught us that there is no middle ground, there are no two ways, for the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God, amen, is eternal life. So the Roman road of salvation was a blessing uh, that occurred in May. And then we moved to uh, June. And in June, on the heels of the Roman road to salvation, we talked about the Holy Spirit. And I thought the goals were uh, very, um, very good, and it clarified what we were trying to obtain in studying the Holy Spirit. Uh, to learn who the Holy Spirit is, to learn the role of the Holy Spirit, to understand the Holy Spirit and the church, to understand the Holy Spirit and the believer, and to understand the Holy Spirit's role in the obtainment and governing of gifts. And truly was a blessing back in June of 2021. July 2021, uh, the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles. And there we, we studied, amen, again, to observe the working of the Holy Spirit and to learn the expansion of the church and to understand Peter's transformation and role in the early church, to review Paul's missionary journeys and to analyze Paul's defenses. So as we went through the book of Acts, we saw how the Holy Spirit became alive and worked in the churches and how he used Peter and how he used Paul to continue to evangelize. August, August 2021, we looked at, um, we looked at relationships, amen, we looked at how uh, God uses relationships to bless us and strengthen us. And we moved to September where we use God's resources and God's stewardship. But as we move into October 2021, uh, we had some challenging times at Zion Travelers. Um, we noticed that from January through uh, September, boy, we had a lot of deaths. Um, I think the death of um, uh, Kaylin Banyard, uh, I think it rocked the whole church, the young people, the mothers, the deacons, choir members, everybody. It, it had a devastating effect uh, on us all. And then we had the death of Sister Charlene Clifton. Again, I think it rocked the whole church, uh, both deaths. And there were a lot of other deaths, not to put any deaths above any deaths, but I know that these two not only rock Zion Travelers, but it rocked the city as well. Um, I really, really admire 
uh, Franklin, A.J. Clifton, whom I am in contact with uh, through the week. Um, he handled everything uh, tremendously well, and he is really, really staying strong and being encouraged. And it is through his strength and encouragement that we are encouraged. And then um, uh, the Banyards. Um, uh, as I have observed the Banyards, uh, as I have observed uh, how they carry themselves, how they have been uh, strength, and I know God is going to use them to help many, many other families. Uh, they are a beautiful couple, and they show so much strength, and they encourage all of us as they went through their ordeal. Um, it led us to the month of October to do a study guide on death, and the title of it was Comfort, Encouragement, Healing over loss, grief, suffering, and pain. And we took the whole month of October to talk about deaths and, and to talk about um, uh, things we can do to maintain attachment to our loved ones. We incorporated comfort verses, encouragement verses, and healing verses, and verses to combat loss, grief, suffering, and pain. And we came up with a lot of activities that we can use again to remember our loved ones and to keep that attachment. October was a blessed month. I thought it brought about some healing, but anyone who's lost a loved one to know, should know that it's a day-to-day -day battle, it's a week-to-week -week battle, it's a month-to-month -month battle. It goes on and on and on. And November 2021, Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches as we do every year. We visit and revisit uh, the book of Revelation. And then we moved uh, to December of 2021. And in December of 2021, uh, as we connect November and December, we evaluate the churches. We see what we're doing and what we're not doing. And then we evaluate ourselves as individuals to see how close we are to God and are we living within his will. One thing that we got out of the pandemic, and that thing was we are going to really reach out to the community. We are going to make sure we put food in the community, we put clothes in the community, that we visit the sick, the prisons when they allow us to, and that we do God's will based on uh, chapter 25 of the book of Matthew. And we are going to continue to look at those parables and we are going to continue, amen, to do what we can for the community and to do God's will because we want to be wheat and we want to be sheep. Praise God. So as we look at January 2022, there are four goals. And these are the goals. To build a strong spiritual life. Goal two, to create God-centered families. Goal three, to make major contributions to church life. And goal four, to trust God for a strong financial life. And if you look at all four goals, they are all tied together. Uh, and the key verse the key verse is Proverbs 16, 1 through 3. To humans belong the plans of the heart, but from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. All a person weighs seems pure to them, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. So January again, here in 2022, we'll talk about planning. And how does the goals fit together? To build a strong spiritual life individually, to stay strong. To also make sure God is the center of our families. So as we grow strong individually and as a family, then we come to make contributions to the church, spiritually, financially, and all hands on deck getting the message and getting commodities and getting clothing out to the community. And we must trust God 
for a strong financial life, to make sure that we are good stewards of God's resources that he entrusts us with. So as we look at planning um, for the month of January, we're definitely going to look at ways to implement certain verses into our life. And when you get your study guide, it will be outlined uh, in the study guide the particular verses we need to do. And those verses, again, will come under to build a strong spiritual life and to implement these verses in your life. Also, when we look at to create God-centered families, we want to discuss at home with your family particular verses. And this will galvanize and bring the family together. Referring back to goal three, to make major contributions to church life, implement to be a help to the church. And I believe that when all hands are on deck, when everybody is involved, then we're going to get that unity. And the Bible says where there's unity, there is strength. Go for to trust God for a strong financial life. And in this particular reading and the verses involved in that, give and it will be given to you. I pray, amen, that God blesses you in this upcoming year. And as always, we're going to pray the old year out and the new year in. So wherever you are at home, wherever you are, uh, let's pause and let's have prayer together. Father God, we come now in the name of Jesus. As we look back on 2021, Lord, it was nobody but you that brought us through the year. We believe, Lord, that if you bring us to it, you will bring us through it. Through all the pain, the heartaches, through the deaths, through the hunger, through uh, trials and tribulations. Lord, nobody but you brought us through. We're leaning and depending on you, Lord, every step of the way. Oh, God, as we go into 20 and 22, we ask, Father, that you be with our families, be with our mothers and our fathers. Give them the strength to stay with the Lord. Give them the strength to raise their children in the admonition of the Lord. And, oh, Lord, bless us to be strong as a church. Bless every church whose, whose foundation is Jesus Christ. And, Lord, as always, we want to glorify God. Lord, we want to pray in the name of Jesus, and we want to invite the help of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we ask also that as you bless our church family, Allow us to get in the community. Allow us to feed the hungry and close the naked. Give water to the thirsty. Help the stranger along the way. Visit the sick and visit prisons. Lord, let this be a goal here at Zion Travelers. And Father, we know you're able. Let us listen and live within your will. And bless our finances, Lord. Bless our resources. Bless us to give. And bless us to believe that the more we give, you're going to give back. And the more we give, we'll be able to do more. And, Lord, you'll bless us with more to do more. And, Lord, heal our families. Heal our children. Lord, we rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against this Delta, COVID-19, and the Omicron. Oh, God, we ask that you bless us with safety. Bless us with healing. Lord, bless the families that lost loved ones in 2021. May you strengthen each and every one of them. We don't know what 2022 will bring, but Father, with you, we know that we will be able to face and endure 2022. And as always, we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. We pray in Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. Amen, amen. God bless you, and we love you.